my name is Martin and today I want to show you how you can use Cacheify to speed up your WordPress site tremendously. Um, Cacheify is a simple WordPress plugin from my dear friend Sergey Müller or also known um, at WPZO on Twitter. He does a lot of different WordPress plugins which are all awesome and really recommended. Um, but today I want to show you how you can set up Cacheify and what Cacheify does is it caches all your um, all your sites, uh, let's say, um, so the user uh, doesn't have to um, do the round trip to the dat database. So if a user, uh, if the first user hits the site, um, WordPress does its thing and asks the database for the um, uh, data, and then it um, shows the site to the user and then Cacheify caches this page as a static file, as a static HTML file and the second user or everything after the first user um, just gets the static HTML file which means um, it's a lot faster than um, having to use the trip to the database and back. So um, we need Cacheify. I have a development WordPress on my local machine and we can use WordPress to add a new plugin. Oh, this is new, I guess. Um, search plugin for Cacheify. Let's see. There it is with the Superman. Um, install now. Okay, I guess. Let's see. Okay, activate plugin. We need to do that. So, Cacheify. Let's go into the settings. You have uh, different cache methods, which uh, first one is database. I never use that one. I just uh, use hard disk, which means uh, the static files are saved on your um, server. So, cache expiration means um, how long uh, is the static um, file valid. So, if the user hits the site, and from that on, for 12 hours, the static file is saved and everyone who hits the site gets the static file. So we can increase, decrease, whatever you want, but um, logged in users um, don't create cached files and um, you can activate the flush the cache at new comments, which means that uh, if a new comment is posted and the site with the comment is cached currently, um, the cached file will be deleted and um, the 12 hours start from, from the beginning. Same um, goes for uh, publishing new posts. You don't have to wait 12 hours until the new user can, can see the post. Um, this caches, uh, this flushes the cache and um, everyone who comes to the site will see the new post immediately. So you can decide whatever you want. Often I don't have comments, so this is um, not relevant. And cache exceptions, you can say, oh, this page, please, please, please do not cache. Or um, the same goes for browser user agents. I've never um, did that, but yeah. Cache minify, no minify means um, it just caches the static file on your server and shows it to the um, Builder, but you can also cache and minify the HTML, which means it strips all the white space from, from your HTML file. And um, this means the file is uh, yeah, smaller and gets uh, delivered faster to the user. I always would rec recommend this. And you can also inline the JavaScript. I'm not sure how that works. Um, um, I've never used that one before. I think I have to try it out, but um, for now, let's go with cache minify HTML and save changes. So you might think that's it, but no. Server configuration file, htaccess for um, Apache servers, and I have a Apache one, needs to be adjusted. So what does that mean? Let's go to the um, docs Sergey provides here. Um, let's go into item. I'm in the dev WordPress things and you can see I've already looked up uh, 
what's in my htaccess and yeah we are in our htaccess file so let's see we need to add a few things um, where are we here all oh, here it's, yeah, it's German I don't think the docs are available in English but you can just follow follow along so here is the um, htaccess file let's view raw copy paste um, and now in search and we might already be done save this so this means uh, the rewrite engine is on this means we can uh, rewrite the path and gzipping the file which um, does uh, compresses the static file and um, yeah everyone who hits the site gets the static file is uh, the index html for every page and so that yeah it's redirect for the user to the static static file instead of um, just using the normal database stuff <laughs> so um, let's see if this is already working um, okay I have to log out log out nice go back here let's go into this entry refresh and refresh and nope I didn't want that I needed it okay working you see um, it shows here Cacheify cached on the HDD uh, with a timestamp and you can already see it's a minified HTML the white space is removed this means it's uh, as small as possible yes white space it's because it's a code um, example and uh, the white space white space needs to be preserved yeah that's Cacheify um, I would really recommend this plugin to you it speeds up your site tremendously and it's uh, not a lot of work you see and um, yeah it doesn't cost a thing and Sergey is awesome so install Cacheify use it for your own good and um, if it's not working um, just uh, write a comment and um, ask me because there might be um, a problem with your document root but I think on a normal simple web space this is no problem but if you have problems post on the YouTube page a comment or on my blog or write me an email or a tweet and I can help you out because the documentation is only in German so that's it for today thank you for watching um, yeah I would love the channel to grow so if you like it please spread the word um, hit the thumbs up on YouTube and see you next time bye